Hello everyone, this is Tsukio and I'm gonna show you a quick installation guide for the Tsuki UI. First off, just download my folder, put it anywhere, I just put it on my desktop, it's easier that way. After that, you will need to download the add-ons separately. The reason for this is that you need to, well, ne you need to, this isn't really the good phrase, but I would want you to respect the authors um, that made those add-ons. <coughs> Sorry. And by downloading from their side, you kind of reward them a little bit for the time they put in it. And I don't want to take that away from them. So just download them. The main add-on that you need is gadgets. Everything is built around the gadget, uh, gadgets add-on. So gadgets, gadget buffs and gadget currency bars. Banana H is an auction house add-on. It's very nice, but it's optional. The Emotar bags is very nice as well. It gives you one big bag that ordens everything in it. You need a macro to open it, but it's once you have the macro made, put it on your auction buy action bar, bind it to the letter B, and voila, you have a really good add-on. Curl alerting system is just displaying icons for various needs. Uh, King boss mods is a bit like deadly boss mods in WoW if you're familiar with that. Otherwise, it's just add-on that shows you boss mechanics, it guides you in the encounter. If you only PvP or don't do dungeons or raids, then this is not needed. Super meter is just for DPS and uh, HPS tracking. Resource tracker is only if you have gathering professions. So foraging, fishing and mining. It tracks the veins, fish, flowers and wood and gives you a little arrow at the top of your screen which direction on your minimap the vein or whatever is located. Here it still says clickbox healer but I'm gonna update the uh, UI tonight so that it's not included anymore as gadgets updated their rate frames with hot status icons and everything like that and it's a lot better for healers than the clickbox healer. Now after you've downloaded everything and put it in your interface, let's see, that's the wrong one. Need to open it. Documents, Rift, Interface, Add ons. So at the top you can see it Documents, Rift, Interface, Add ons. There all your add on files go in. If you have downloaded everything, you open My File. You see two saved files and two dot files. The reason for this is that it's two different resolutions. Just take the resolution that you want, but see if you copy the saved 1600 one, that you also use the 1600 point dot file later. So go to your interface folder and make a backup of your saved folder. You do that by simply renaming it and writing slash backup. Now you take one of the saved ones and you copy it to your interface folder. After that you rename it and delete the, normally it says like this for example, just delete that part so it only says saved. When you go in there, you see login mail, you need to change that to your own email address that you use to log in with. After that it's shard name and there you, see, there you need to fill in your shard name, so server name. And in there, it's the uh, last one you need to rename, it's character name. And that's it. You can close that map. After that, you copy one of the two dat files to your installation folder. Since I use the 1900 version, I need ta uh, Tsuk UI. Re uh, copy and copy it to your installation folder, not the interface folder. You can go there by right-clicking the desktop icon, provided that you have one, open file location and copy it in there. You do the same for the other one if you used the 1600 version earlier. Just the same, just different names. 
After that, you just start up your game, see that all your add-ons, sorry, that all your add-ons are enabled, and you type import UI, either suk suk UI point dot if you use the that dot file or the 1600 on 900 point sorry I can type a more point dot if you use that version after that you see that your action bars are already uh, will be in place here with the third one being a mouse over one if you ever need your um, bar 1 for stealth you can replace that by simply going to escape edit layout you see ability bar 1 it is not enabled just enable it and deselect mouse focus fade then put all the alphas so active and inactive put it on maximum so slide it to the right then just switch it out with one of these bars and there you go if that is done you right click the gadgets settings button press import layout and import Mew at Calydra that should get you everything as you see it here like this and that's it be sure to check out my second video which is on the Rift uh, page on YouTube if you go to my channel then Rift you see the UI v2.0 in-game settings and options it's also linked in the readme file as well as on um, the page here so my YouTube channel is Kazakh PvP normally or Yondai Mitsukio now that's it and just check out the second video thank you bye